Okay, we're going to create the peg for the beverage server. So go ahead and create a new standard IPT and then click Create 2D Sketch. We're going to use the horizontal XZ plane, so go ahead and click on that. Let's take the circle tool and using the center point on our screen, just create a circle and that dimension needs to be 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so finish that sketch and let's extrude this cylinder to 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so now let's create a sketch on top of that cylinder using the same center point. Let's draw another circle and the dimension of that circle needs to be 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so let's finish that sketch and then we're going to use a work plane um, on top of the cylinder. So click your plane right here. When you hold your mouse on top of the cylinder you can kind of see the the plane. Just click with your mouse and drag away from the cylinder. And we want the plane to be 1.25 inches above our cylinder. So I'm going to click home so you can see the plane. So now let's click create 2D sketch on top of this work plane. Okay. So now take your circle tool and we're going to again use the same center point, draw another circle and let's dimension this to be five-eighths of an inch. Okay, so when we finish that sketch we're now going to use the loft tool to connect this bottom circle up to this top circle. Okay, so the first one we're going to click on is the bottom outside edge and then the face of the cylinder. Then just click to add and choose the top circle. And it should fill in the uh, main part of the peg. So click OK. And let's go over to our browser over here and let's hide this work plane. So just right click where it says work plane 1 and choose visibility. Okay. So now let's create a, a 2D sketch on top of our cylinder. Take the circle tool on the center point again and this top circle needs to be 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. Okay, finish that sketch. We're going to extrude that last circle to be a quarter of an inch and that's the peg.